Hi guys! Alright, so in this video we're going to be going over some sample calculations for the heat conduction lab. Now in the heat conduction lab, the purpose of that is to, to use data recorded in the lab to calculate the thermal conductivity of a mystery material and, and then use that thermal conductivity to find out what the material is. Okay? So the purpose is to find thermal conductivity and in order to do that we have to write down a formula that has thermal conductivity in it. And for that one we're going to use Fourier's Law of Conduction. So let's write that down. So we have Q, the heat transfer rate, is equal to minus K, this is thermal conductivity, times A, which is the area, times delta T over delta X. And it is important to know that they do give us a di diameter of the material. The diameter is set at 0 0.025 meters. Okay, now let's look at the data we're going to be recording in the lab and see how that helps us. Okay, so here's um, an example of the data you might be recording in the lab. You're going to have eight data points. There's going to be eight channels, T1 through T8. You're going to be recording the voltage at each point, but the voltage is going to stay the same at 10 the, the entire time. You're going to record the current at each point, but the, the current is going to be pretty close to one the entire time. So these two are constant. Now these two don't, um, no, I'm sorry, these two do change. These two aren't constant. So we're, we're going to be recording the temperature at different distances away. So first we have 0 0.015 and the temperature and then 0 0.03 and the temperature. So we'll be recording the temperature at each interval of 0 0.015 meters. Now, here's the data, I already collected it, and I want to better interpret this data. So I'm going to make a graph of this. So I highlight those two, go to Scatter, Smooth Scattered Plot, and now I have my graph. Okay. Now, what this is telling us is that there is a clear linear relationship between the temperature and the distance. You go away 0 0.015 meters and it seems to be dropping at about 3 degrees each time. And that seems to be pretty constant. There's a little deviation, but it seems to be pretty constant the whole way through. And that's why we see this linear relationship, which is exactly what we should be seeing. Okay, now let's try to use this information to find our K value. So going back over here. Now let's try to plug in some of the numbers here. Now, we don't have heat transfer rate explicitly, but we do have voltage and we do have current. When you multiply those two together, you do get um, the heat transfer rate. So let's put those two values in. So we have 10, which is the voltage, times 0 0.97, which is the current. It's equal to minus K, that's what we're solving for. So that's gonna stay a variable. Area, we have the diameter, so this is going to be pi times 0 0.025 squared on 4. Delta T, since this is a linear relationship, we can use any two data points. So let's use T4 and T5 in this case. So T4 is 38.1. So we have 38.1 minus 35.7 okay and we said that this was 0 0.015 meters away each time okay and now the last thing we have to do is use some algebra and solve for k and the k that I get in this situation is 123.5 and that is your answer. All right, that's going to be it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.